we made it to Italy. Everybody give it up for Italy. Okay. Prego. Prego, grazie. Bro. We'll be right back. Prego. 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 Made it to Italy. <laughs> Road trip successful <laughs> yesterday. That was Got like, a little sketch. That was a hell of a drive. It was beautiful, especially the first part of the drive. Yeah, we went through the Swiss Alps, French Alps. Yeah, and so many just like kind of like farmy, oh, no. No. hilly towns. We saw a lot of castles, which I think is so freaking cool. Yeah, right when we got into Italy, it was like castle land. We went through like a town though, or a few towns, I guess. Yeah, there must have been a lot of towns. That were like all castles. Not, there was just like a castle in each yeah. town, like one castle on like a hill. It was. So cool like at is. one period in time, there must have just been like castles ruling the region. So cool. I'm fascinated by castles. But yeah, now we are in Genoa. We're in a town called Camogli, and we're super excited to be here. My grandpa on my mom's side is 100% Italian, and he's from this area. His family is from this area, so we're like so excited to be here. And we actually had raviolis today for lunch and they my family we used to make raviolis um growing up like from scratch and everything and it was my grandpa's mom's recipe like he she taught my grandma how to cook and everything so then my grandma would always make the raviolis we used to make them together and they tasted literally just like them so that was like really cool yeah. and nostalgic cool. um yeah we're so excited and then we're here actually with our friend Jack, who has helped like organize all our travel, you know, we told you guys about him. Toronto, Toronto travel. travel. Our king. His lovely girlfriend, Lisa. So we're, they live in Spain, so they just like popped over here. Yeah. And we're hanging out with them here, which is so fun. So, a little bit. It's a really small town. Yeah, small town. Beautiful. So, we're going to go out. Um, we're actually not doing dinner with Jack and Lisa tonight. They went off to do something. Yeah. But. We're gonna go get some pizza or pasta, probably. Yeah. Two options. Here. Yeah. We actually and had a really good salad last night. Like we just got in last it. night and kind of like went to bed. We just had dinner at the hotel and stuff and went to bed. It was nothing yeah. noteworthy, but we have found other times when we traveled to Italy, it was really hard to find like greens yeah. and vegetables. And we saw like a salad on the menu last night and we got that and it was so good. It was really good. It yeah. was like so plain they didn't even put dressing on it actually. Um, but it was just like really fresh greens and like dress greens. yourself. Yeah, and then uh, Maybe get some gelato tonight. I mean when in Rome Definitely need some gelato. Yeah. Italy Italy Let's go Italy Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> We made it to dinner. This is literally our scene right now This is where we're at right now. This is me. That's me. This is Clayton. This is me. This is literally our waiter. I don't know who that is. He's having champagne though, so he's... Or actually, we're all having champagne. Wow. We're it's having a, party. a pretty good day. A lot of mussels. Are those our oysters coming our way? I think mussels. I don't think I've seen oysters on the menu anyway. They do look like oysters there. So we ordered. I got mushroom risotto. Sounds really good. I actually used to be obsessed. This is so like not authentic, but I, I thought authentic Italian, but I used to be obsessed with a frozen mushroom risotto from Trader Joe's. Mm. It was so good. That was good. It was. I made yeah. it for you in college. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what did you get? I got cannelloni. And, and we got a salad. What? And we got a salad. Yeah. Salad and an opera spritz. When in Italy. Pearl spritz has landed. There's not a lot of ice in here, but it's a big pour, so I'm getting a lot of bang for our buck. And actually, you guys, I've been low-key not a fan of any of the water that we had in England or France. And I actually really like the water in Italy. Like, it tastes good, so I feel like hopefully this one's good too. I feel like I'm actually going to not be dehydrated now. The water in England and France, I'm so sorry, but like we couldn't find like a good brand and I could barely drink the water. You weren't a fan either. <laughs> it has been better. It has. Okay, today the salad is here again and it comes with just like the, the 
fixings on the side. So, like, look how gorgeous and fresh this is. I'm so here for this in Italy. Like, I love to get the greens. Okay, I got the cannelloni. <laughs> Stuff for risotto. So insanely fresh. So good. Well, this is the land of pesto. Land of pesto. This is where pesto was invented. Wow. We are here. Mushroom risotto. It looks, it looks even better than the Trader Joe's one, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> Let's give it a taste test. See how it goes. Okay. Down by the harbor, and we just picked up some gelato. I got a biscuit, and Delaney got stracciatella. How is it? It's really good. The chocolate. It's like the perfect texture. It's like shaving. Mm -hmm. I like biscuit. Wait, it's good. It tastes like hazelnut too. A little it bit. It's like a Ferrero Rocher. Mmm. You taste that? Mm hmm. A little bit. I like it. I like that dog. Oh. <laughs> Cute. Okay, we are about to get ready and go explore. Um, Clayton just took my dress that I'm gonna wear today. He called and asked if we could have like a steamer and iron brought to the room because it's like really wrinkly. And they were like, you have to come down to like this little room or whatever, like the laundry room or something, I guess, and do it. <laughs> so I feel like that's so funny. That's happened to us before in Italy, like the little, I don't know, just the little laundry room. So he just sent me a picture that looks very interesting. But we are going to Portofino today which we're really excited for. Uh, we've heard amazing things about it. It's like such a gorgeous town. We actually would have really loved to stay in Portofino and spend more time there, but it is so expensive. It's like a bougie place, I guess. Like there's no hotels that were reasonable really. We're going for lunch, which we're excited for, and we're just gonna explore. And it's actually really sunny today. This is like the one sunny day. Here we go. In the forecast, like how gorgeous is that? You guys can probably hear the birds. Obsessed. Okay, so Clayton successfully steamed or ironed my dress ironed, yeah. right? in the in the freaky little room. I've been learning you. how to iron on this trip. Yeah, my grandma's so good at ironing. She loves ironing. I don't really get it. It's kind of. It's kind of a vibe. It's kind of therapeutic. I feel like. It's a little bit like Zen gardening. Like it's oddly satisfying too. Yeah, it's like a maybe bit, a little more satisfying than steaming. I was gonna say, yeah, it's a little bit more therapeutic than steaming. But we're ready for Portofino. We're so excited. We have a cute little chic outfit. I'm doing that um, outfits video of like all my European outfits, so all the details and stuff will be there. And Clayton's wearing this shirt that I thrifted years ago, and it's so good. We've, uh, we like share it sure. whenever we go on your Euro European trips like one of us has to wear this shirt at yeah. one point because it's so good At the tacky Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> Everybody's got Dolce and Gabbana. I'm like yeah. shocked they don't have tablecloths. <laughs> no, it's a vibe though. You just got a cheese plate. What's the what's the green cheese guys? <laughs> I'm my guess is that it's a pesto cheese. That's a good guess. This is a blue cheese. Town of pesto, that's right. Pesto or region. Region. Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> Cheers, cheers. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh wow, that's crazy actually. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my. Oh my god, it's dripping. What is this? They call this forgotten. That's so good. It's like Alfredo sauce. That, I know. Alfredo? <laughs> yeah. No way. Mmm. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? That is different. Waterfall. Whoa, I've never seen this in the daytime. These are pretty little, like, pools. Really pretty. Yesterday. Portofino was amazing. Yeah. So really pretty. There. Really, really pretty cute. It's tiny. Tiny, very touristy. Mm -hmm. But it's so cool to see. Beautiful. Definitely like a bucket list situation. We also met a follower there, Elle. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if you're watching it. Hi, Elle. She's so cute and sweet. Um, today, we are going to do a cooking class. So. Yeah. We're going to learn how to make a kasha. And the focaccia that we've had here is different than any other focaccia I've ever had. Yeah, it's not it's like, like thinner. It's thin. Yeah, thin. we've had like super thick focaccia before, which my manager actually makes really good focaccia. She's, her family is from Sicily. I think maybe there's like different kinds of Yeah, because the one we're used to is spongy, thick. thick. Yeah. This was like yesterday it's actually here. in that we had it last night and it yeah. was like, we literally rolled it up. It was like, yeah. so thick. Yeah, so I don't know what kind we're going to make today, but probably that kind. I'm excited, yeah. Jack and Lisa are gonna come join us. Cold. It's cold, raining today. It's we're our so last lucky day. We got the good weather yeah. in Portofino. We got a full sunny day. Every other day so far, it's been cloudy. Oh yeah, we also saw Charles Leclerc. Saw Charles Leclerc. Leclerc. He was in Confino though. The Formula One driver. He was wearing a mask. But he was carrying his dog, and his girlfriend was walking with him. Yeah. <coughs> we had a lot of celebrity sightings actually on this. Yeah. Not in Italy, in but New York. in New York, so a lot of people in the streets. So. But yeah, we're having good luck with that. And then uh, tomorrow we head to Florence. So this is our last day here in Camogli. Yeah. There's a red light actually in our bathroom, as you guys can see, at this hotel. This hotel is really cool and quirky and like kind of artsy and funky. I'll show you guys maybe tomorrow because it's kind of like chaotic and dark in here right now. But our really good friends, Liv and Kale, actually stayed here when they were on their honeymoon. So we were like, oh, we're gonna stay there. We love staying somewhere that like our friends have stayed, you know? A little wreck from the friends is always nice. I'm just touching up my makeup and getting ready. We're gonna go to dinner. We just got into Florence today from Camogli. It was about a two and a half hour drive, I think. And it was really rainy. We actually didn't have the vlog out like while we were driving, but it was kind of crazy driving through 
the like small town part of Kamobli because if you guys have ever been in like a small town in Europe or if you're from a small town in Europe or something, you know what I'm talking about? There are roads that are literally the width of a car. So our car was just like beeping the whole time because we were like about to hit the sides, the walls, which was absolutely terrifying, obviously. Being in a foreign country and like having a rental car, I was like, oh my God, this is insane. But Peyton is so good. He stays cool, calm, and collected. So we made it through. It got hairy. It got hairy. Yeah. yeah, he was like- Had to fold the mirrors in. Had to fold the mirrors in and our car was literally just like pissed the whole time. Like, we were just like So that was, I did my makeup a little bit different today. I felt like I was bored with the makeup that I had been doing. So I don't even know if you guys can tell. Maybe this red light is kind of a good light to show you guys with it. But I love the idea of bleached brows. I've never done it, but I've always thought that it would be really fun. So today I was like, I'm not gonna fill my brows in at all because they are pretty naturally light. I actually get them tinted to be really dark. Um, so I'm not gonna fill them in at all and then do like a smoky eye vibe to, for like some contrast like it's just kind of a fun it's almost like a little grungy or like rock or punk or something i don't know so yeah i felt like doing that today so i'm kind of playing around with our i'm not sure where we're going to dinner yet but it seems like there's really good food in florence which we love so excited for that i'm just gonna like brush my brows because nothing else to do them. I took a nap in the car, so I feel like I need just a refresh, you know? I kind of look like a like a skeleton or something with this makeup, so I'm kind of into it. But yeah, that's the plan. It is a little bit rainy here again, and me and Clayton were kind of just reminiscing on that. Like, October, especially in California, and I feel like in Nevada, where I grew up too, is a really nice time of year. Actually, I feel like in the States in general, October can be like such a nice time of year. And I feel like it can be really nice in Europe as well, but we have taken a few trips to Europe in October over the years, and a few of them were very rainy and very cold. It's actually not that cold um, anywhere that we've been, which is nice, but it has been kind of rainy which does make it like a little bit more difficult to do things. I would say like one of my favorite parts about Europe is just how walkable it is. And like you can walk everywhere and that's like one of my favorite things to do in Europe. And of course you can still walk when it's raining, but it is not as fun. And if it's windy too, it's kind of like, mm, let's just go inside. We have been dealing with a little bit of rain. So I feel like maybe we would rather be home in October in the future. We'll see. But that's just a little food for thought. If anyone's planning a trip, I mean, it depends where you're going. And like I said, I feel like it can be really nice weather in October too. But I will say we have run into like more rain than we were expecting maybe. So fair warning. And Queen is ironing my pants for me like a king. Ernan. Ernan? Oh, Lord. I'm gonna wear a really cute outfit tonight. So I'm excited. Okay, I wore my hair in this braid yesterday to the cooking class. Clayton was obsessed with it and a lot of you guys liked it on Instagram as well. So I'm gonna do it again tonight because my hair is like in the same like state pretty much. It was really cute. I love, little braid. I love when he loves like something like an outfit or hair or makeup or something like I think that's the cutest thing ever. And then I will wear it all the time. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it. So I just took it's just like a messy little half up braid, I guess. Just a normal three strand braid. Okay, so the middle chunk is kind of bigger and then just two skinnier ones on the side. I guess it's not a normal three strand braid because then I'm gonna take a few added sections. So kind of like, is that a French braid? I don't know. Just like keep adding to the hair or to the braid from either side. It's really kind of just random and messy. Okay, this one's maybe a little thicker than yesterday, but hopefully you guys can see this. I'll stop it about there. And then just a little clear hair tie. Oh god. Okay. Like 
the lot. And there. Okay, and then it honestly got like cuter throughout the day as it just like fell more. I literally took like a nap with it in. And then it was even cuter after. So I'm just gonna mess up a little. Babe, will you go look at this? Is it cute? Mm -hmm. Did I mess up? Uh oh. Did I mess up? There we go. Oh, this hair. Is it fine? Yeah. Is it cute? Uh huh. So cute. Oh, he said it's a wholesome braid. This is the restaurant we're at today. Sabatini Firenze. Getting hydrated. Have this cute little crystal lamp. It's really pretty in here. Hey, cutie. I am down with aquapana. Aquapana tastes good to me. Yeah, I think I already told you guys that it's hard for me to find water that I liked in Europe, especially France. I was like, I was vibing with the water there, unfortunately, but the Italian water so far has all been good. Bread taste test. Check this out. Mm -mm. I don't like the bread that much. The bread in Florence tastes weird to me, guys. Don't tell anyone. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, fresh spaghetti with stracciatella and tomatoes. Yum. Final box. <laughs> Nice technique, sir. <laughs> That's my dinner. <laughs> Just kidding, I will eat all of that. Okay, with the nests. Gelato. It's so good, you guys. It's so soft. It's so soft. They, she was kind of whipping it up. What is this thing called? It's called La, La Sorbetteria. La Sorbetteria. Um, we haven't had any other ones here, but I feel like this is a really good one, actually. Mm -hmm. We met a cutie girl that's a follower that is studying abroad here. So cool. We were just saying, like, we, we, missed, we missed out on the study abroad. Mm -hmm. It wasn't in either of our cards. I wanted to. I tried to. We had a lot of friends do it. My family said no. Um, so here I am now. As revenge. We're studying gelato. Abroad. Abroad. Um, we had really good gelato though. And, uh, I'd say this is good. Come ugly. Better. This is better. Mm -hmm. It's soft. Maybe it's a different style, I don't know. But I just got the flavors ricotta with lemon. Bold move. It's honestly really good. They're not lemon, honey. And um, cream. What was it? Just cream? Yeah, it has Florentine cream or crema fiorenta. One's like sweet, it tastes like a sweet vanilla, and then the other one's like a salty yeah. honey vanilla. Kind of. I, like I got stracciatella, which is just a chocolate chip. This one's really good though. Really? Okay. <laughs> I'm the worst at eating people. <laughs> I didn't get a chocolate chip. Did you? Did you not get a chocolate chip? I just did that time. Did you? The first time I did it. This is very Try it. I didn't get any. Try it. Try it. Literally. I kind of like eating with a little shovel. Oh, yeah. I threw my way. <laughs> so good, though. It's literally so good. We're like really cold from dinner, but. <clears throat> this is the smallest serving too, and it's like big. It's only like three euros. Yeah, you know? like I feel like in America. You just said this is the smallest serving. Oh, oh and it is big. It's I mean. like the smallest size that they offer. Yeah. I thought you meant like 
This is so small, but it's big. I was confused. I meant like, yeah, it's the smallest one that they offer, mm -hmm. and it's big, uh -huh. and it's only three euros. I feel like when you go get ice cream in America, they're like, get, like the, the option is like a fucking, a huge one. like, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, like twelve dollars a person. Mm -hmm. Dairy Queen. Yours looks like the statue of everything right now. Mm -hmm. Osteria Pastella, and they have an iconic truffle pasta. Where is it on here? Flambe Tagliatelle with fresh truffle. Let's see what they got. Always start with a salad. Gotta get those greens. Get them greens. Get them greens. Get them greens. Guys, we are about to head out to dinner. We're going to uh, what's it called? Trattoria. Uh, Trattoria 13. Trattoria. Trattoria 13 Gobi. We Jack made us this reservation. We're really excited. It looks like a really good place. And then our friends, like we're meeting up with a bunch of people for the wedding at the end of the trip, Allison and Richie's wedding. Um, so a lot of people are already like in Europe. And Ashley and Brennan, our friends and their baby crew, are already here in Florence. So we didn't know that they were coming here, but we saw. Um, and then we were just like all chatting, we're like, what oh do we should go to dinner? So we're gonna go get dinner with them tonight, which we're excited. It is raining like crazy today. Crazy. But it's still kind of warm. It's 68 two degrees right now. Like yeah. So we're both wearing shorts, or I'm wearing a skirt. It's seven, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but excited to see Kurt. We haven't seen him in so long, and he is oh, yeah, so cute. So cute. He seems like at such a cute age right now. Right, so. over this. Excited. to get a coffee, well matcha for me, and a coffee for Clay. We actually went to this place the first day we got Day to one. Florence. I don't know if we vlogged it, did we? But it is a place that I found on Tippy Talk actually, and she said they had really good matcha, which I was so excited about because when we were in like smaller towns and places on the trip so far, and just in general, I feel like Europe isn't as into matcha as the States. Or like specialty coffee. Specialty coffee. Which I didn't yeah. even realize it was called specialty coffee. So if you come here, yep. it's a little bit special. Does it make sense? So a lot of the like really small places, obviously, we can find any of that stuff. So when I saw a matcha in Florence, I was so excited. Um, so we are going back there, and the girl said that they also have really good cinnamon rolls. We saw that on her video as well. So. We try out the cinnamon roll today, and the people when we went there that time they were the first time they were from Australia, like the people working there. So I think it might be an Australian place. 
super cute. I can't remember the name. Do you remember? The Ana name? Lua. We'll show it. Ana Lua. So. She is. Here we go. Hype or overhype? I'm not even the biggest cinnamon roll girly. I like the kind in the the tube that you make at home. Oh yeah, Pillsbury. Like Undercooked them. This is really good. Cream cheesy frosting, and it's so soft. It I don't looks, want it to be flaky. Yeah, it's not flaky, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like doughy. Mm -hmm. Nice. We had a nice sunny day here in Florence. Love the sun. Much different than the torrential downpour we had yesterday. That was crazy. It is, it is. It's just like so much more enjoyable to walk around and like kind of kill time. Yeah. Like, the other day we were just like, oh. We're like, uh. To the hotel room. Yeah, I mean literally it was torrential downpour. Two inches of rain, I think. Yeah. In an afternoon, that's quite a bit. And we did go out and about, but we couldn't like vlog while we were out because it was raining so hard we were literally just fighting for our lives Clayton's yeah. umbrella was like broken oh, umbrella was broken our pants were like fully drenched just from walking yeah. like it was we were fighting for our lives out there it was wild uh but today we did a little uh shopping around town drinks no oh, thank, thank you uh yeah just shopped went to lunch Delaney got a little bracelet oh yeah and are you wearing your necklaces no yet? i'm not i just got a bracelet and we got some gifts for our moms um, what is that? It was called mosaics. It was a glass. It was so yeah, cool. glass mosaics. So Maybe that was really cool. Works. Yeah. And uh, now we're gonna go meet up with Ashley and Brennan again because they're in town prior to the wedding and a little crew. So and we're cool. gonna go do a little picnic. Yes. Overlooking Florence. I'm so excited. Yeah, it should be really fun. Pretty so nice. Fun. some thrifting here we heard that Florence has really good thrifting um, and Ashley and Brennan actually told us of this thrift store yesterday and we really wanted to come here because they said it has tons of jerseys and sports memorabilia which we both really like especially Clayton so we were like oh we should go there and then we literally just walked right past it like not even knowing so we're looking in here it's called Dolce Vita that's cute but the sleeves will be too short for you Yeah, we're at Zaza today. 
a lunch. Mm -hmm. How'd you hear about this one? Uh, on TikTok. TikTok? Ashley and Brennan came here earlier in the week too. And they said it was really good. Mm -hmm. We just ordered some pasta, of course. Of course. It looks really good. And then salad. Start with salad. Salad before. It's just here. a straight green salad. Undressed it looks like. Some yeah. bowl of lettuce. I'm gonna put some olive oil and salt and pepper. Honestly, I'm fine. Such a vibe. Uh, they got a balsamic here, it looks like. Yeah. Super good. Ready to go. Okay, the lunch spot was oh, really yeah. good. Fuego. Very, very good. It's also a huge restaurant, so I feel like even though it's popular, you could probably usually get in, yeah. hopefully. I think it's a good we wreck went, for we that. Really late, so. Yeah, and it's like a little bit of off season, I think. Um, but our next stop, I changed my outfit because now it's like sunny out. It was rainy, and now it's sunny, and I wanted something like breezier, more breathable. So I put on this little shirt by the bar and a baseball hat so that my hair wasn't like in my face as much. And now we're going to. The oh, famous Vivoli, yeah. the famous Affogato place, which is espresso and ice cream, or yeah. they use gelato. Yeah. I don't drink coffee, so hopefully they have non affogatos but if they don't, no, no. <laughs> I'll find something. But it looks really no. good. It looks so cool the way that they make it. It's like a viral place. So we're going to go be very touristy and go there. We're going to meet up with Ashley and Brennan there and baby crew. So. We're excited. But no, we were we we're just like get out of bed at like ten. All right, we got the gelatos. Pistachio. Ashley got a uh, pistachio. Pistachio one. traditional. Brennan and I both got tradish. And Delaney got a. What'd you get? Amaretto. Yeah. How is it? It, the their gelato is so fluffy. It is, huh? Mm -hmm. Yep. Going in. It is the final mor morning in Florence. We are just gonna go grab our breakfast and then head off, 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 <laughs> off to uh, Montalcino, where the wedding's at. But um, before we took off, I also want to show you guys the hotel we stayed in in Florence. It's called oh, yeah. Casa Howard. Every room here is different. And there's only like 12 hotel rooms. We stayed in the one called Studio. So it's actually two stories. And it has this nice little living room. Sorry, it's a mess. But we're packing up. It's got a nice little living room. Couch. This couch is so comfortable. Yeah, it's say. nice and wide. We could both fit on it laying down, so that's been nice. And then um, the one downside of this room is there's no windows. Or there's two windows, but they're very dark. And then this is like a courtyard so people are out there well nobody's been out there but people could be out there so you don't really want to have the blinds open especially when you're in the bathtub but overall the design of this room is really cool nice tall ceilings in the bathroom little fireplace it's cute decor but yeah and then upstairs up the spiral staircase is the bed a nice little i think it was a king or maybe just a queen Little bedroom, TV, yeah, really cool room. Got this little glass walkway, really neat. But uh, good location. Florence is like a pretty small town, so everything seemed to be like a half mile away, 0.7 miles, nothing was too far. So good location, good vibe. And we're gonna go get our cinnamon roll again, one last time. Wow, look at this thing. It looks so good. Must, must come get one of these. All right, we're closing out this chapter of the road trip vlog here. Clayton is going to 
drive us to Montalcino yeah. now. Get us out of Florence. <laughs> Step one. Florence is kind of crazy to drive in, it seems. So he's got this. It's it was chill. fun. The food is amazing here. Yeah, what's your overall review of Florence? Of Florence. Food is amazing. The sidewalks are some of the worst yeah, that I've oh. ever been on. <laughs> They're just really narrow. Um, and it's it was it's like, like a single busy. file sidewalk and then it's filled with a lot of tourists. So. Yeah. It just like wasn't the easiest place to walk in terms of like the sidewalks and the people. Like it's a walkable city for sure. Um, but the flow wasn't flowing with the okay, I fear this girl doesn't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Looking like she's about to fall. She looks like me. I don't know how to ride a bike very well, guys. But yeah, so that was like probably my biggest downside of this city. The sidewalks, the walking, not very good here. Food was literally very good. Everywhere we ate was kind of comparable to each other, and all of them were good. Like we did not have a single bad meal here. There's lots of like famous or like TikTok famous or whatever yeah. places with a lot of hype and we went to a few of those they were amazing but I would also say that the places that we like wandered into or were like Equally less good. famous yeah were like very on par with the famous places they just have like less gimmicks sometimes like the place with the cheese wheel that's kind of like it's I an mean attraction yeah you know what I mean so um, the shopping was good here what else yeah, tons of good vintage. Tons of good vintage stores. There's so many like exchange students from America, so it did weirdly at times feel like we were in like an American college town yeah. in ways. Like so many people we saw were like young American college students like speaking English on the same. And we, yeah, we, and if we had a little bit better weather, if we would have gotten a little bit, like it was a torrential downpour. Like, Wait, are we going the wrong way? I can't leave the house energy. So. Yeah. It was, you step outside, you get soaked. Yeah, so. that was like, that was a, that was a challenge, I would say. Sorry, the camera battery died, so finishing it on the phone. Overall, we just like love food. We love eating when we travel. That's like a huge category for us, I would say, and because the food was so good here. I think it's like, it's good. It's a good, it's a good one, guys. Very good. The people were nice too, and it always felt safe, I would say yeah. too, which is mm -hmm. a good, like, a good ranking on the city. So that was fun. I'm glad that we came here and saw it and now off to the wedding destination and then Rome and that will complete our European road trip. Exciting.